I want to work on my mango salsa first just so it gets a chance to marry and bloom together. So in my bowl, I'm going to just toss all of these ingredients in there and I have some fresh mango. And you could also use pineapple, that would be really nice. And then my red onion, and everything's diced really, really small. And if you don't like that zip, you can definitely submerge red onions in an ice, any onions in an ice bath to detract from it. But I find the red onions are sweeter and I really like it. And then jalapenos, and if you don't like that kick, you can sub it out. And then I have some cilantro. Just sprinkle everything in this one bowl. And then I have a little bit of lime juice. And you wanna to toss the whole thing together in salt and pepper. For my shrimp, I'm gonna do the toss everything in one bowl method again. And so I have my shrimp that's been deveined, and I'm gonna drizzle over a little bit of sesame oil. Our star ingredient, the gochujang, the red pepper paste. And no worries, all the exact measurements and recipe can be found on my blog, thesquishymonster.com. And then I'm gonna scoot everything else over. I have a little bit of sweetness from brown sugar. You can use agave or honey, coconut nectar, whatever you'd like. And that was a little bit of minced garlic some sesame seeds, and then my green onions. And I'm gonna to toss everything together again, and you want to aim to try to let it steep in this marinade for at least um, 30 minutes to an hour. After we grill off our shrimp, we're pretty much ready to eat, and I love this for its ease and accessibility, and it's done in a flash. So I'm taking my shrimp, and then on a hot grill pan, you wanna grill them off, and shrimp cooks really fast, so just be aware of that. Remember not to overcook your pan, and then you want to flip them over. Now all that's left is to assemble and then eat. My favorite part. So take your warm tortilla and it's more pliable if you heat it up. You can either fry it or just pop it into the oven wrapped in foil. And I like to, let's put some mango salsa down on the bottom and on top because I love cilantro and that sweetness from the mango is just unbeatable. So just a little bed of the cilantro, or the uh, salsa and then tuck in a few shrimp. And I love these, these are meaty, so let's do two or three, just depending on how big your mouth is, I guess. And then a little bit more mango salsa, and maybe a little drizzle of shrub.